this time. But Jaden doesn't. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> Hello, I'm David Gray, and I'm heading out on the third trip of the 2022 season. I'm heading down to West Virginia, where I'm going to meet up with Travis, and we're going to do a three-day, two-night, 20-mile or so hike in the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Travis grew up in West Virginia, and Dolly Sods is kind of like his home turf, and he's hiked there many times. In fact, it's where we met for the first time when we did a Dolly Sods hike together in uh, 2017. I'm bringing Bailey along, but sadly I had to leave Jaden at home. First time I've done a hike where I had to separate the two of them. And don't worry, Jaden's doing just fine, and he handles our daily three-mile walks pretty well, but I'm afraid this one would, would have been just a little bit too much for him. Weather-wise, it doesn't look like we're going to get any rain, but it's certainly going to be hot. The forecast for Davis, West Virginia, where we're staying the night tonight, is for temperatures in the 90s on Friday and Saturday, and then a little bit cooler on Sunday. So with that, let's get this long seven-hour drive to Davis, West Virginia going, get this trip started. Very happy that we're not in the car. <laughs> Last time we were here, doggies did the same thing. We walked around out here and right up here, I think it said the inn at Canaan Village. Not anymore. And the other thing is, I noticed a sign over there. I don't know if you can see it. It says barbecue. And I think it's right down the road there. That's new too. Man, is it gorgeous right now. It's about 72 degrees and low humidity. Not gonna stay that way tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about how hot it's going to be. Hopefully when we're up top on Dolly Sods, I think it's a few thousand feet higher than here. Hopefully that'll cool it down a little bit. I made it. <laughs> Our home for the night, and I am very happy to be out of that car. That's a long drive. Bailey is happy. Well, Bailey is finally winding down a little bit. <laughs> Having a little sip of beverage while watching the first round of the PGA Championship. And I'm getting ready to head to a barbecue place that's just down that road to the right, about a hundred yards. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's right down there. And there's the in at Canaan, and there's my barky dog. <laughs> We're going for barbecue. <coughs> Bailey says, I want barbecue. Because we're at the barbecue place and you need a smell of vision for this. It smells really good. <laughs> good smoke and meat. David? Yeah. Oh, thank you very yeah. much, man. That smells great. Thank you. What do you think, Bailey? You want your barbecue? That lab nose of yours, that's like torture, isn't it? <laughs> You'll get some. Okay. <laughs> there we go. This is the uh, pulled pork. And a brisket, and I'm actually going to save a whole bunch of this in case Travis has not eaten because he's getting in much later than me. And I did give a little to Bailey, didn't I, Bailey? Oh, I like that barbecue a lot. That was very good. <laughs> Here's the up close and personal look while well, my dog looks like she's going to chew on my leg. Mmm, best part of a backpacking trip. <laughs> Finding places like that the night before you. Start eating Mountain House. Mm. That's the end of a really nice first day. A very long day of traveling. Just waiting for Travis to get here. It's pushing eight o'clock right now. Sun's just getting ready to set. He's probably not gonna be here for a little more than an hour, but I saved some barbecue for him. But Bailey and I are just kind of out letting her unwind a little bit. And then I think as soon as we go back in the room, she is gonna be out. After the drive, we are looking forward to a little backpacking tomorrow. End of a Really nice first day of the trip. They're getting closer. <laughs> what do you think of the horsey song? There's not much interest. Oh, hello. Hey, dear. Can I pet you? Yeah? You guys want some attention, don't you? 
You see that big dog right there, don't you? Not quite sure about that big dog. He just wanted some attention. <laughs> quite the scene the night before backpacking. Very, very cool in the Cannon Village. End of day number one. Bailey wants to go get the geese. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, second day of the trip. First day of backpacking. And it rained all night long. And I was glad I was in a hotel room. <laughs> but I think the next three days are actually supposed to be uh, pretty good. At least the next couple days are going to be sunny and hot. Although right now, you would never know it. The temperature is probably in the 50s. Feels pretty good. So I think we've only got about six miles to hike today. So hopefully we'll be able to get through that uh, before it really starts getting cooking. Just getting started on day number two. I haven't met up with Travis yet, but they've got a little continental breakfast thing here in the hotel. I'll probably get some of that and uh, we'll get rolling. Here. Day number two, getting started. Hotel's breakfast selection left a little to be desired, so we're uh, looking for plan B on breakfast. <laughs> it started as an absolutely glorious day, about 60 degrees and sunny, but I think the 60 degree part is going to change really fast. Hopefully we'll be done with the hiking before it gets too hot. Well, that's kind of wild. Into the clouds. Okay, smokes. Makes you wonder what it's going to be like up top if it's like this down in the bottom. Well, we found a uh, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Mm. Wow, that is good. <laughs> Very good. Well, we are heading up to the sides. We're going to be doing a point-to-point -point hike, so we're going to drop one car off here at the end and then uh, head up to Bear Rocks, which is where we're going to be starting from today. A beautiful morning to get started hiking. I remember this drive-in from the last time we hiked here, but I think this is where we're going to be finishing. Red Creek. Yep, that's where we're finishing. So we'll drop one car off here and then uh, drive up to Bear Rocks. What do you think, Bailey? You ready to hike? We're going to finish right here. Red Creek Trailhead. Drop my car off here and then we'll head up with uh, Travis's truck to Bear Rocks. <laughs> Heading up to Bear Rocks and the road's got a little rougher. Alright. Bear Rocks. Whoa, we parked up there the last time. Why did we park up there? Oh, because that's where Bear Rocks is up there, right? Yeah. Right here. It's a trailer. What do you think, Bailey? You ready to hike? <laughs> She's really ready to hike. <laughs> so I don't like all that driving stuff, especially on rough roads. Nice day for it. That's actually Bear Rocks over there. And that's where we parked the last time. So we had to do this little road walky thing at the end. We are geared up and ready to go. I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not smoking hot yet. As a matter of fact, it's actually a little bit chilly because there's about a 20 mile an hour wind that you probably can't hear. <laughs> it's a little windy at the dolly size today. All geared up, ready to go. Ready? You ready, baby? <laughs> yes, I was ready 20 minutes ago. We are hiking. Good morning. Good <laughs> We're hiking. Where you just like make noise and just, like, just go away. I would just stand your ground. I, I wouldn't, if they're moving along, just let them move. Yeah, I remember this spot from our last trip. It's the big ant hill. And they're very active. I don't know if you can see them crawling, creepy crawling around all over that thing. And then I remember this little hill right after the ant hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first little hill of the trip. First significant trail junction. That's the Dobbin grade trail which you don't want to take if you ever come here. <laughs> that's what we were told and that's Travis's experience. Apparently it's an exceptionally muddy trail, especially after it's rained a bit like it did last night. Yeah, avoid the Dobbin grade trail if you come to Dalgay Sods. 
pretty little spot. Bailey's happy. <laughs> Cool little camp spot up on top, and it's windy. Almost looks like something out in somebody's yard or something. Not bad views up here at the Dolly Shods. I remember this spot from 2017. Man, is it beautiful up here. Just like that, it's like you're in northern Michigan. <laughs> Dolly Sods changes quick. This is why they call it the Dolly Sods. <laughs> Lots of sods. Trails are always muddy here, especially after it rains. started raining. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It was supposed to be clear today. I think you get your own weather into Dolly Sods. Look at this spot. I remember this from the last time. And those of you who doubted my words of advice about the Dobbin Grade Trail, that is the Dobbin Grade Trail. <laughs> we got to go on it for a little while. Haley's like in the water. We got to go up there and then we're going to hang a left. <laughs> oh, Bailey. Uh -oh. Don't get stuck again. She got stuck in one of those. Bailey's taking a break. <laughs> We're on trail 509, which is the Upper Red Creek Trail. It's been spitting rain on and off. Looks like it could just come pouring down rain anytime, which is really unusual because it was supposed to be clear today and tomorrow. Not really complaining about the clouds though because it would be really warm. We're about a mile and a half from camp. Upper Red Creek Trail, Trail 509. Sometimes it's a little hard to distinguish the trail from a screen at Dolly Sods. That's what this whole trail's been like. You have to get creative to find a way up these trails sometimes. One last trail junction here. This is the Blackbird Knob Trail, 511. The good thing about that is that's where our camp is. How much further up to camp, you think? Uh, half a mile. Okay. That's not bad. We can do that. Hopefully the trail won't be as muddy as the Upper Red Creek Trail was. Back into some really spooky looking woods. I'm sure this camera makes this look a lot brighter than it is. These are some serious hobbity woods. That'll be within about a quarter mile of camp. That like Zod is crazy for the way the vegetation changes like instantly. We made it to our home for the night. Not a bad little setting, huh? Travis described it. He wanted this exact site. He said it's out in the open right on the stream. Is that your spot, Bailey? <laughs> she says, I'm not leaving this spot. I think Bailey's happy to be in camp. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> seen our campsite here but I thought I'd show you the other ones that are located in the woods I'm about a hundred feet from our campsite it's really dark in here <laughs> but it's kind of a kind of a cool setting area Bailey is ready to go look for firewood typical trail in the Dolly sides what you can't see is like you sink in down in that stuff about four inches and there's really no good ways around it so if you're trying to keep your feet dry in the dolly sods, good luck. <laughs> Anywhere you look, it's all the same. There's really no, no way to get around it. Long stretches of the trail are just like this. You know, the thing is, it's exhausting. It is just totally exhausting. You've been doing this all day long with your shoes on. And then sometimes you'll have little stretches 
where you can walk on rocks like this. But the whole thing is like a puzzle, and it's just mentally and physically exhausting hiking in the dolly sods. We're back in this stuff looking for firewood. I think I see a big down tree. See it. There's definitely some bigger down stuff here. There's a few of them. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Wow. Some mother load here. The other thing you should know about this campsite, or at least like the area that I filmed down there in the trees, gets a lot of use. And people, people literally had cut off every one of these branches on every tree up to as far as you could reach and then some like 10 feet tall in that general area for firewood. Don't do that. <laughs> this is what you're gonna have to do if you come here to get firewood. You're gonna have to go a little ways away from camp and you're gonna have to go in the deep woods and see what you can find. But there's plenty, plenty out here if you get a little further away from camp. Ooh. <laughs> I ought to be able to get something out of this. I mean, there's a nice big one right there just sitting. There's some huge ones here. I don't know what I can carry. There's another nice big one over there. And the trail, just to show you, I'm not that far off the trail. It's right there. But that's our haul from this trip for me. Travis got some too. And that's our third trip. And I think it's going to be our final trip because I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how good that feels. And it's also cleansing. My feet were awful muddy. Look at my little foot washing station view. Well, here's our collection of wood for the evening for trips. <laughs> That's the only downside we have to this campsite is there's not good sitting chairs or rocks. It kind of loaded the ground. But it is cheddar cheese spread rehydration time. Bailey knows what that means. Always remove your desk, I think. No, that's not adult beverage, that's water. <laughs> About an hour and we'll uh, I'm having cheddar cheese spread. Right. You ready for the spam? What's spam? But I think I'll like it. Once I get all these bugs. Well, it is. Packet gourmet cheddar cheese spread time in Dolly Sod's wilderness. Here. And this is the Carl Memorial cheddar cheese spread because he was not able to join us on the trip. Travis will do this for Carl. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Carl. We miss you, Carl. Very good. Good texture. Red Creek water is a little red. <laughs> oh well, that's what we got. Lighting of the fire. One fire starter that <laughs> we brought. Good spot to snooze. Carl always does the spam tree stick for us. Carl's not here. <laughs> I have to do it myself. So I got my little little knife out here and I'm gonna make myself a, a two prong shorter two prong <laughs> spam stick. <laughs> I miss you, Carl! <laughs> These little things that you have to do yourself when you appreciate somebody else doing the spam tree stick for you. The dinner tonight is gourmet spam. <laughs> it's always a joy to try to pull it out of the can. For those of you from other countries that have never experienced our wonderful spam, it's this gelatinous thing. <laughs> Way better than liver mush, I have to say that. When you pull it out of the can, it's not that appetizing. I got my little stick here, so I'm gonna slice off a couple pieces. I'm making it sound much more disgusting than it is. It really is just like ham and smoked sausage and bacon combination kind of stuff. When you do it over the fire, 
in the back country it really is quite yummy. Like that. That'll work. Spam is on the fire. All right, we decided to go with the manual technique. <laughs> it was too hard, taking too long the other way. I'll show you the one, the one that's progressing nicely. Can you hear the little yummy spam, fat crackling sounds inside? <laughs> it is getting there, but we're doing it the manual way. Classic backpacker gourmet uh, dish of spam in a cup. <laughs> Travis introduced me to this, and uh, it's quite nice. Mm. Oh man, that is so good. It's like Kind of hard to describe. Smoked sausage, ham, a little bacon flavor in there maybe, whatever. Mmm, very, very tasty. Good morning. Welcome to uh, day number three of the trip overall and day number two of the backpacking. And it is a glorious morning. <laughs> There's not a cloud in the sky. Temperature is probably in the mid 60s, so it's very comfortable. It's supposed to get smoking hot today, but they said the same thing about yesterday, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Plus, we're going to be getting going early. I think about seven miles to go. We're gonna head over to the Lion's Head area. We had originally planned on camping up there, but there's absolutely no water up there. We don't know anything about the climb. A little concerned about how hot it's gonna be, especially with Bailey, so we're gonna play it by ear when we get over there. But that's the plan for today. Get this second day of backpacking started with a little uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Maybe Travis will let me use his jet boil. Bailey's doing a uh, casual, I'll lay down next to my bowl and take a bite every once in a while method of eating breakfast. Alright. Well, back to the traditional Dunkin' Donuts coffee after straying a little bit on the overlanding trip with the uh, Hilltop Pax coffee, which was outstanding by the way, but we're back to the old traditional. Dunkin' Donuts coffee in a beautiful morning in the Dolly Sods with the stream flowing in the background and the birds chirping and not a cloud in the sky and perfect temperatures. It's going to be a good day getting started right away. We are geared up and hiking on day number two of backpacking. We get to start with a stream crossing. Keeping your feet dry in the dolly shods. <laughs> they started with a nifty little hill right off the bat. I think it's predominantly going to be downhill today. We came to our first uh, trail junction of the day. We're on the Blackbird Knob Trail, heading that way, and we're going to continue that way. And then this is the Harmon Trail, number 525. We've got a ways to go yet on the Blackbird Knob. We're going over to the Perimeter Trail, which is what we did back in 2017. Another little habitat change here. I don't know what kind of trees these are. They almost look like aspen trees, but that's more like lichen on the outside of them. Nifty little spot. I think we're near the top. Made it to the top of the climb. Now we're kind of gradually well, flat and gradually downhill, but this is what the trail is. <laughs> Nothing but rocks. And uh, it requires a lot of concentration. The whole thing's been like this for a few hundred yards or so. Fun stuff. our next trail junction. That's where we came from. That's the Blackbird Knob Trail and this is the Rocky Ridge Trail also known as the Perimeter Trail. Still rocky. <laughs> Start looking for campsites I guess. It's awful early though. Now we're on the Perimeter Trail. Came to some sort of a significant junction or junctions. Big old fancy sign. I don't remember that being here the last time we were here. 
cool. Breathed Mountain Trail, the Big Stone Coal Trail. Yeah, we started. Oh, this is kind of nice. Bear Rocks Trailhead. We are right here now. And that's where the car's parked, right. down there. Went here, across to here, down here, and across. Right there, we camped last night. Okay, cool. Cut across here. Now we're down here looking for a uh, campsite somewhere. Okay. Here or possibly down there. All right. Dolly Sod Wilderness, that's the whole thing. Lots of different options. What are you stopping again for? I'll take a little snooze right here if you guys aren't going to go. Just like that, we are in a completely different habitat. The trail conditions <laughs> haven't improved. As a matter of fact, oh, that looks nasty. And I'll bet you that's deep. Oh, all right, Bailey, be careful here. Yeah, I'm going to go right and use those branches to kind of hold myself up. All right, Bailey, follow me. Completely different habitat. <laughs> I don't know what all these plants are. I think that might be mountain laurel. We got some sort of an evergreeny type tree. One thing that hasn't changed is the trails are still rocky and rooty and muddy. <laughs> Tough going. It makes you concentrate. We're kind of my neck's getting sore from just staring down at my feet, basically. Now here's what you're doing it's the whole time. That's what hiking on this stuff is. It's not easy. If there's a bright side to this, at least it's not muddy. <laughs> I think it's like Roxylvania on the AT. It's not easy, man. All these rocks are slanted different. Some of them move. Pretty slow, tiring hiking this morning. Well, stream probably doesn't seem like much, but that brings back some seriously good memories from uh, our last trip here. And I don't think I even videotaped it because my camera was broken at this point. We were out of water. And this was the first water we came to in probably five miles. And Travis had given me some of his water and he was getting cramps from dehydration and everything so this was like this was like an oasis to us back then so fond memories now that's what I call a trail the first time on this entire trip we've seen a trail that looked like that I think Bailey's going I like this trail let's keep them just like this and a hundred yards further this is what we're in this is a hobbity woods again dark Hobbity Woods. Crazy place the Dolly Sods is. Hey, it's when are a... you putting another video out? <laughs> Probably uh, about two weeks, this one. <laughs> He'll be in it. <laughs> this is a, a primo spot that Travis and I stayed in the last time we were here. You got some good ones. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they, saw, they watched the videos. What a great spot. Look at this really nice spot. And, uh, pine trees or whatever these are evergreen trees and right along a nice little stream so remember this spot if you come to us only about 100 yards past the primo spot so it's close to second alternative and check out what we've come to now it's big tall pine tree what is that some good forest sounds this stretch from when we were here the last time it is really dark in here trees are like just all clustered together more densely so the light doesn't get in at all you know, so we came upon these I'm trying to figure out if it's like a Bigfoot or barefoot I think somebody was hiking through here barefoot you don't see that very often it's kind of crazy I found this little spot nice little stream beautiful campsite right there with the uh, dolly sods stone chair. So we're gonna stop for a little break over there, let Bailey cool off, get some food. She's got her own little beach. Well, look at what we found. <laughs> I'm not going over there because Bailey will follow me. No, we're not gonna go over and see that one, Bailey. <laughs> I don't want to be fishing you out of that. Getting closer to the little river crossing at Red Creek, or the not so little river crossing at Red Creek, that should be interesting. That's where we had all our fun the last hike when I dropped my microphone in and Travis fell in. So we'll see if we can do better this time. A cool little stretch of trail here, heading down to the river. Trail junction, I think we're going down that way, and I think that's the start of the 
steep descent down to Red Creek itself. We've decided to pass on Lion's Head because we don't know what that trail's like and we don't want to carry about eight liters of water up there. <laughs> so we're going with plan B and we're going to go down this way and look for a camp. We are on the final descent down to the river and it gets really steep. So remember this if you go the other way because this is not an easy trail. It's all rocks and very steep. Bailey just fell down in a crack in one of the rocks and she wouldn't put any weight on her back right leg and I was a little nervous she'd done something but she seems to have shaken it off. But this is the descent down to Red Creek. You'll remember. We made it to Red Creek. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. You stay here. She sees another doggy on the other side. Woo. The meeting of the labs. Two chocolate labbies. Two big chocolate labs. <laughs> He's bigger than she is. Hi, big guy. You guys look the same. Bailey, <laughs> Bailey. He's a little possessive of me, I think. what we just came up and I can't tell you how hard it was because I think we got the wrong trail that's where I think we were supposed to come up the trails right here but we missed it again it comes up from over there that was a little hard especially with Bailey all right Bailey sorry what we're doing to the dog well it's been quite a day for what I thought was going to be a really short one the original plan was we were going to go up to Lion's Head with Bailey struggling a little bit in a lot of ways trails have been exceptionally difficult especially for her so that would have been just too much and plus the warmth that was supposed to set in has now set in and there's no water up top and it would be exposed too you know, we were probably looking at carrying 10 liters of water up that hill so then another plan was find a campsite kind of along here on the red creek trail get us closer to the cars but Bailey's We've really had a difficult day of stream crossing. She's been stuck in the mud. She injured her back leg. She slipped on her, fell through a rock. We're gonna go back to the car. That has several advantages to it. We're gonna go pick up Travis's truck up at Bear Rocks. That's gonna save us probably about an hour plus tomorrow. And then we're gonna go to Seneca Rocks. I've always wanted to see Seneca Rocks. If you've never seen it, really looking forward to seeing that. And that will allow us to have kind of some civilization and a shower and everything. Sounding very appealing at this point in time. I think we're on to plan C. We made it back to the car. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting to see today, but it definitely still looks really nice. All right, well, we found our camp for the night. It's not on Red Creek. It's actually at uh, Seneca Rocks. You know, all that heat and humidity we were looking for up in the Dolly Sods, well, we found <laughs> it's right here. It's about 88 degrees or something and uh, very humid. We're gonna have a campfire tonight and we've got pizza and we've got cold beer, so it's <laughs> plan C. Plan A was mountain house. This is plan C and the mountains are blue. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad alternate plan. Mm. Not like a brick oven, thin crust, perfectly crisp to perfection, but uh, it'll work just fine. I still was busy, both of them. Mm. Bailey doesn't like the flies. <laughs> Even here, there's more flies here. Well, that is Seneca Rocks from our campground. It's pretty cool. The sun's hitting it, by the way. The sun is just baking me right now. It's a huge rock climbing mecca. I think we're gonna drive over there and see if we can get a better look at it and maybe find a place for Bailey to uh, get in a river to cool off or something.
Not a great view, but I think this might be about as close as we can get. There's a road that goes up closer, but it's closed like right over there. So we're trying to figure out that's where the river is. If we can get Bailey in there, let her cool off a little bit. So we may wander over there. And well, this is where I was going to have Bailey maybe get in and go swimming, but I don't think so. That looks a little sketchy. And she really wants to go swimming, but we're going to go try to find a different spot. That just looks a little like a dog getting washed over a bridge to me. All right, this is probably the best view of all, and we're doing it from the car sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> trying to find the water, and I think we, there was a sign that said catch and release, which is probably a good sign, and we can hear some people sounding like they're having lots of fun. I think we're on the right track. Oh, man, this is perfect. Look at this little spot. Oh, we yeah. discovered the mother load <laughs> of swimming holes. <laughs> Bailey, oh, 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 oh. I think I'll help myself. Look at this spot. We'll let Bailey cool off here for a while and just have some fun. Look at all the people swimming. Just a calm little stretch right at the base of these cliffs. <laughs> Bailey's in heaven. Oh, my God. Oh, that hurts. oh my fingers cold. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when it's like 85 and 100% humidity. What we really need is a roaring hot fire. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's a little nature TV and keeps the bugs away. have rolled in and we got all kinds of juicy thunderstorms going on. We'll see what happens here. But sleeping for uh, the last night here. So there you have it. The third trip of the 2022 season. Dolly Sods Wilderness in West Virginia is in the books. I've been told uh, Dolly Sods comes from Dolly is actually the family name, D-A-H-L-E, and somehow it morphed to D-L-L-Y over time. Not sure how that happened. And then sods, which means mud and roots and rocks and really tough trails. <laughs> and just as I remember it from the last time we hiked here, it's just an incredibly diverse place to come. It's got all kinds of you know, different interesting things. The views and the wide open spaces up on top, rhododendron, mountain laurel thickets, pine groves with big huge pine trees, streams all over the place, deciduous forests, all kinds of different trails that you can hike and just wonderful campsites all over the place. We did end up having to change our plans a couple times and I wasn't expecting to be out to the car today, but I think we made the right call. All three of us, including Bailey, are doing okay and we're gonna live to hike another day. Dally Sods Wilderness is a great place to put a trip together in West Virginia and for us, it was also a great hike.